Summer, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you what it is like to volunteer in Africa. If you've not been following along with my previous videos, I think it's this way. Hello. If you've not been following with my previous videos, I'm currently volunteering here in Tanzania, Africa. I'll link the other videos below if you wanna watch them. But yeah, today is the start of my second week. I think it's this way again. <laughs> So I'm here with World Packers. We are walking to the school. Hello. I'm with the newest volunteer who arrived yesterday. Her name is Luna. Hi. <laughs> and she's from Italy. She's only 18 as well on her first solo travel. Sorry, the kids are very excited. <laughs> She's on her first solo travel, which is super brave. Yeah, so this is like the main street of this town. There's not really much here. There's like a couple of shops. I usually buy like soda from that man there on the way home from school. We are just arriving at the school now. It takes us about 15 minutes to walk here. Here we are, kind of muddy there. Be careful. Good morning. taught grade 6 English and grade 3 English and now we are waiting for lunch. Did you guys like my English class? Yeah. Yes! <laughs> this room is the hostel where some of the kids are living and sleeping so now they have bunk beds because another volunteer previously did fundraising to build basically this room so she built the walls she got them bunk beds because apparently before they were sleeping on the floor lunch time today we have ugali beans and some kind of meat which is special i think maybe because it's luna's first day <laughs> we've got something special maybe chicken i'm not sure so if you mm -hmm. didn't see my last video ugali is like basically a paste made of flour and water and it's what we eat every day at lunchtime. We've just finished for the day, another day down. So after lunch we did a science class. Luna mainly taught it on her own, which was really good. I think before you thought you weren't gonna do that for a few days, didn't you? Yeah. But then she was just, realized she was more comfortable and it was fine. So yeah, that was good. It was with grade three, like the younger ones. Good afternoon. It's harder at the end of the day to keep their concentration. Also, especially because all of their classes are taught in English, apart from Swahili class, obviously. So I think that's difficult for them as well because like they're learning every subject in English and it's obviously not their first language. But yeah, they're doing really well. So now we're gonna walk home and then we're gonna go to the nearby town so that Luna can buy some stuff. Please ignore my voice, I've just woke up, but it's Tuesday, I'm about to have a shower, so I thought I'd show you how it works. So this is the actual shower, like this bucket, but as you can see, that water is not clean. It comes from this tap and it's not really been clarified where it comes from but i don't like the look of it so i don't use that i actually just use my bottled water to shower brush my teeth obviously drink and everything i just don't i don't mess with that but some people do so i've got my shower gel here and yeah essentially i just pour it over my head and that is my shower i've got quite a few of these because i use it for everything but my shower one i try to have it less full because obviously if it's full i can't lift it over my head because it's really heavy when it's full these are not very expensive for reference this costs five thousand shilling so it's not expensive to do but obviously it's not it's not about the money it's about the safety 
aspect with the water and stuff and yeah you just pour it onto the floor there's a little hole there where it like drains down so let's do it breakfast is this fried bread type thing i can't remember the name i put loads of sugar on it to make it more edible then i've got water with some electrolytes let's go to school I can barely see even with my sunglasses on we are just walking to school now it is almost 10 a.m we're starting classes at 10 today we're both gonna do an english class so i'm gonna do grade six and luna's gonna do grade three and then later in the day we'll do some science together as well that's the plan oh it is so so hot i literally said to luna it feels like i'm walking through a desert on my way to school like you can barely breathe it's just so like it's like this all day and it just seems to be getting hotter and hotter every single day that goes by it's definitely hotter than when i first got here and i thought that was hot so i've just finished teaching the first class which was grade six luna taught grade three which is the younger class we did both at the same time but i think the next class we're going to do together science it wasn't a great class not going to lie they weren't really focused today hello yeah they weren't really that focused today or concentrating so it was a bit difficult but just having a break now and then we're going to do science also we just found out from the kids not from Gemma or anyone else that the school is going to be closed for christmas so there's already like most of the school are on christmas break and there's only two classes here which is grade three and grade six and as far as we knew they were still going to be here obviously apart from christmas day but the kids have just told us that they're not going to be here from friday which is the 22nd until the 3rd of jan so essentially the whole of next week i'm going to have no class well we're going to have no classes and nothing to do so i don't really know why we were not told this information and why the kids told us but we just went to ask the head teacher and he was like yeah it's going to be christmas so there's going to be no classes and we were like okay <laughs> what are we going to do then oh yeah not ideal news i feel like we just keep hearing things that make it get worse and worse which is a shame so essentially tomorrow and friday are my only days teaching and if you didn't see the last vlog which was week one volunteering i didn't get to teach last week because the other couple who were here were like taking all the classes and not letting us teach you can go watch that video if you want <sighs> don't really know what to say about that it's a bit frustrating but make the most of the next couple days we will ask Gemma whenever we see him and see what he says because funny enough he never mentioned any of this to us when we saw him yesterday <laughs> We've got some talking to do. <laughs> we are just preparing for our science class, but I thought I'd show you this. This situation, which is one of many problems here. So, these are called safes. And in the safes, all of the donations that people bring get locked away. I have argued this with him. I understand he wants to keep them locked away so that they last longer. But I feel like stuff gets put in here and just locked away and the kids never see it. Because whenever I've brought out colouring pencils or anything, look this is all the stuff that I brought them. They've got all these books and I don't want them to be just locked away and not used. I said to Luna like when school reopens, if she's still here because she's like not sure, <laughs> please use all the stuff that I brought them. Yeah. Look at that pile. Yeah. Yeah. Wow, that's a big wow, word. That's a very long word. It's a very long word. Hey, that's in French. <laughs> <laughs> Let's have an English word. Maybe Luna can help him with a word. Yeah, you can do that one if you want. I'm not sure how many people would know it, but you can try, okay? Good what guess. Is fast? Lunch time for the first time we've not got ugali, we've got something else. Looks like some sort of soup with maybe chickpeas, beans. I'm just happy it's not ugali. I'll try it. They're not chickpeas. Oh, beans? They don't look like beans. They are hard. Yeah. Justin is making us pasta. <laughs> Spaghetti. This is the stove. 
and I bought some tomatoes and some garlic. Last time he did it with tomatoes, but today I saw garlic, so I'm gonna show him how to make that into a sauce. We are just walking to school, it is Thursday morning. I've got these biscuits because I'm sick of that other thing that I get given. It says milk and honey glucose biscuits. They're pretty plain, but better than nothing. So, let me just flip you around. I've got these sunglasses on today because I couldn't find my black ones and they're really nice. I like the style but they're not as good at blocking out the sun so I can barely see you right now. <laughs> today is pretty much going to be the last like proper day of school for me anyway because tomorrow, Friday, I'm planning on doing basically like a Christmas day. So I brought with me loads of Christmas arts and crafts that we've not had a chance to do yet. So I thought, because it's their last day of school as well and like my last day with them, we'll do that tomorrow, like making Christmas cards and all that kind of thing. Then I'm also, I've been fundraising, hi! I've been fundraising, so Mambo, poa! I'm gonna use the money to buy like a big Christmas lunch for them and some other stuff. So that's tomorrow. Spirits are kind of low today after the news that we got yesterday about the school being closed. Obviously none of us are very happy about that but it is what it is. So today's gonna be the last day in this vlog and then I think I'll do the like my last day with the kids as a separate video like goodbyes and everything so probably about halfway to the school now. I swear this walk feels longer every single day don't you think? Yeah. <laughs> We have just finished the first class, so I did science, kind of biology, I just taught them about being healthy, I think you guys saw some of the clips, but yeah, I've said in, either in this vlog or the last vlog, that there's basically no structure, so you pretty much just teach what you want, kind of make it up really, so after they've had their porridge or tea, whatever they're having, we're gonna do, well, more Luna's gonna do English, but I'm gonna be here to like assist. And then it'll be lunchtime, and I think after lunch we'll just do drawing and stuff that we did yesterday. Lunchtime, once again, like every day, we have Ugali. <laughs> However, this is my last Ugali, I think, because tomorrow I'm doing the special lunch and then we won't be in school, so maybe, hopefully, this is my last one. And beans, yeah. if there's any beans in there into that water it's really good. and spinach. Do you like the spinach? I really like it. I think it's very good. Just got home and I wanted to do some washing before I go out, but this is what I'm currently dealing with so I don't think I'm gonna have time to do it before we leave. Yeah this is where we normally do the washing just with a bar of soap in this bucket and then hang it here on the line. So this is all the food that we got. There's no power so we're using the torch but this is all rice, potatoes, vegetables, fruit. Another day, another meal in the dark and it's rice and beans. 